my name is Edelise Baez and I'm a sales engineer at Progress Software. And today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the DataDirect ODBC drivers for a Linux environment. On the center of my screen, you see that I am at the progress.com slash ODBC landing page. And this lists out all of our big data, relational, and SaaS cloud drivers. I'm going to click on the download free trial now button. You are now asked to fill out a little bit of information. I'm going to choose a relational data category and an Oracle database, but feel free to choose whichever data source you are trying to connect to. I'm going to select ODBC and a Unix Linux 32-bit system. Then you have a couple of fields that you need to fill out before you can click on the download button. Once you select download, you are taken to the Data Direct Connect and Connect XE for ODBC landing page for the Unix Linux download. You can see that there are some links to our product documentation as well as the installation guide. Then there is a list of downloads for your specific Unix or Linux environment. I'm going to select download for the Linux environment. Once this file has finished downloading, Move it to your Linux and Linux environment. I place it in this temp folder, as you can see here. Progress Data Direct Connect ODBC 7.1.5 Linux 32 System tar file. I'm now going to untar this file. I'm going to type in tar dash xvf space and then enter in the name of the downloaded file. Once it is finished untarring, you can run the KSH installer by typing in ksh space unixmi.ksh, enter. It is asking me if I am on a Linux operating system. That is correct. And I'm going to press space through the license agreement. I will now type in yes to accept the above agreement. I'm going to enter my name, my company, and for serial number, I'm going to type in eval, and for the key, I'm also going to type in eval, since I want a 15-day evaluation. It is now going to ask you if you want to download all of our drivers for all of our supported databases or a single driver. I'm going to select one for all of the drivers. It is asking me if I'm sure. I'm going to press enter to continue, and now it is asking you for the full path to a temporary install directory. It suggests backslash TMP. I'm going to choose a slightly different directory. It is telling me that there is enough space, and it is now going to extract the files. It is now asking for the full path to the installation directory. It suggests op progress data direct. I'm hitting enter and it is now creating the license file and extracting the drivers. The installation has ended successfully. It is asking if I want to install another product. I'm going to say no, and it is now asking if I want to launch the performance wizard. I will also say no. Installation complete. I am now going to change to that folder that I installed the drivers to, which was home, sup, ibias, progress, data direct, odbc71, and you can now see all of the files and folders that have come with your Progress Data Direct ODBC drivers. In order to configure a data source, you're going to have to set the environment variables LD library path as well as ODBC INI. We have provided a script for you to do that. So you can do dot space dot slash ODBC dot SH. And then to check that it worked, type echo dollar sign ld underscore library underscore path you can see that it has created that path for you and then you can do echo dollar sign odbc ini and once again it is now pointing to that odbc ini file in order to configure your data source you will have to edit that odbc ini file so you can do vi odbc ini and you can see there's a list of the data sources we've downloaded, 
and it gives you some default data sources to work off of. You have now successfully downloaded, installed, and set up your environment for the DataDirect ODBC drivers on a Linux system. Once again, I am Elise Baez, and thank you for watching.